morning everybody welcome back to another mole man episode if you have watched my past few videos you know that i have dove very deep into the crappie fishing this winter and um, i got some cool stuff coming i may make a video about it but i bought um, we're turning the john boat into the ultimate crappie machine for rivers and creeks but right now we're going to a lake so with my buddy hayden joe and we're in his boat. We're gonna go see if we can't find out how to pattern these winter crappie. We went, yes, two days ago and found a few, but it was terrible. It was freezing cold, and cold front was coming in, so I think they got shut down. But we're gonna go try a new lake that we haven't fished in years, see if we can find them, pattern them, and put some crappie in the boat because I am obsessed with crappie right now. I don't know why, but. Apparently you guys are too because y'all are loving the videos. So y'all hit the thumbs up if you enjoy crappie fishing. And y'all hit that subscribe button if you want to learn how to catch more crappie. We made it. The old tin can is ready for war. Got them crappie jigs. So we're going to go find the fish. And then we'll explain to you how we found them. What conditions it is how deep all that stuff and then we're gonna see if we can't catch them first crappie of the morning big old white crappie big old. slab baby Tank. This took us way too long to figure these crappie out. Dude, that is a. Dude, it's a monster. They're all full, dude. That's crazy. All right, let's get back on. Hit zero. On what this is. Aiden's got something big, big on it. It ain't a crappie. I hope it's a big flathead. We eating catfish for dinner if it is. You dude, got a net? Big, yeah. Well, don't break them off. Well, it's got to be catfish. It's spinning like one. Or a big goo. Ooh, look at the freaking wake Holy on Holy cow. Oh. I just want to see what he looks like. He ain't happy. He's spinning like a goo. Oh. Yeah, big old goo. Big old goo. Oh. Throw him in the bucket. Let's see if we can get him in. Did you see him on live scope? Yeah. Oh. Dude, that Dude, that's the biggest one I've ever caught. Yeah, that's a big one. He'll have some big old stones in him. Heck yeah. Dinner? Guys, crappie fishing ain't happening today. I don't know what's going on. We got on that one fish and then Hayden caught another one that was small. But we couldn't. I don't know what's going on. Live scope showing us fish, but they ain't eating. Ooh, the fishing has got me once again. Me and Hayden cannot seem to figure them out. We got like four inches of rain in these two different lakes that we we went to two different lakes this morning. I didn't film at all because we were so frustrated and so focused trying to find these fish but we went to two lakes this morning both lakes are pretty close to each other and they got about four inches rain within the last week so we're thinking that's what happened everything was chocolate milk the one well he caught two crappie but the one big keeper crappie that he caught he literally had to bounce the jig on his head for him to eat it i don't know if they just can't see it or i don't know but i am going to go ahead and turn this video into the ultimate crappie John boat ever. And uh, I'm stopping at Home Depot right now. I gotta get some stuff because we have to install some new stuff on the John boat. So I'm gonna run in here, get some supplies, and then we'll head to the house and I'll show you everything that I'm doing to the John boat. So uh, it is two o'clock. We started this morning at sunrise. And we caught two crappie. So. I'm determined to get this stuff going on the John boat so I can go out and figure these crappie out. Gotta figure the crappie out. All right, we're back at the house. We're gonna go over what it takes to make a good crappie boat. Any boat is a good crappie boat, but we're gonna make the ultimate crappie boat. She's super dirty, 16, 48 with a 6040 jet on it. Y'all seen it in many, many videos, but it sits just like it is in every video I've ever had. I've never even hooked up that graph up there. 
Um, so we got all kinds of new stuff. I have to clean it. It's been sitting since last, uh, pretty much last white bass season after it ended. I haven't really used it uh, much since then. So we're gonna clean it up today, get everything installed, and I'm gonna show you what all I'm installing uh, to make this the ultimate cra uh, crappy boot. So I'll give you the prices too of kind of how I priced everything out and somewhat did it on a budget for what it is. Um, Minn Kota 58 pound thrust, I think. 50 pound thrust, sorry. Um, so I can run this off of one battery, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep this boat still as light as I can because right now it weighs nothing. I can run this boat in a legit three to four inches of water with the jet motor. Um, so got a Minn Kota trolling motor off of Facebook Marketplace. He was asking 150, I offered him 100 and he said no way. Finally talked him down to $130. So got a trolling motor for $130 and it is just it's simple i just gotta wire it up into a battery uh just put connectors on it i took the other light bar that i had up here on the front i already took that off it, it was a pain in the butt because i had to reach up here through that hole and i got short t-rex arms so couldn't get to it very well um but the trolling motor is going to sit right here i think i'm just going to leave that light bar because i don't feel like taking it off and it works but I don't ever use it. I have a um, a big helmet lamp that I use if I'm ever running at night because um, these kind of go where the boat go. The headlamp goes where my head is pointed. So, trolling motor. And let's see what else we got in the boat itself right now. I got a new gas tank because that one is dry rotted. And I've only had it for like three years. But the edge of it is all cracked and gas was like spraying out of it whenever I'd get in choppy water the other day when I was crappie fishing. So um, new battery for the starter. And then we have that Lowrance hook nine in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna hook it up because when I do run this in the spring in the really shallow water, I don't really have a way to put the uh, transducer on the boat without it getting knocked off going in shallow water. So I may, my buddy Stu over at Coon Creek Outdoors we were talking about, I may put it the transducer on a piece of two by four and then seat clamp it on here whenever I am fishing deeper water just so I can have stuff marked on that graph um, cause I'm putting a graph up front which I'm about to get to and explain that. Um, but it'd be nice to have a graph back here. I guess I could, I didn't think about it but I could probably see that graph. It's only a 16 foot boat and I'm sitting right here. So if I mount the graph up here, which is the plan I could keep it faced kind of to where I can see. I think we'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this because um, it's been sitting in the sun and uh, I don't know where all the wires are for it and everything. I don't feel like messing with it. So obviously a lot of junk back here. Gotta get rid of all that stuff. I'm gonna clean it up, get it ready for the season. Okay, now to the good stuff. Uh, also I have to do a oil change on the motor. I've never done it. On this motor and I may take the grates out and straighten them up before the season you can see those guys right there they get all bent up and uh, you can pull them out and straighten them hammer them down on the concrete here's the new gas tank uh, I go with a nine gallon because nine gallons with that 60 40 I can run for uh, it's probably I can probably get like 30, 40 miles, maybe more. I'm just trying to think of how many times I run to my normal fishing spots and back. And that's like five or six miles and I can do a couple trips of that. So maybe like 25, let's say like 25 miles for a nine gallon tank of gas. So I just like to have extra gas cause I know I'm not gonna burn through a whole tank uh, or half a tank. All right. I know I'm rambling, but I want to explain to you guys for anybody that's interested in crappie fishing and you may have a John boat or you're wanting to get a John boat. You don't have to have a jet motor. You don't have to have a 6040. You can have a 9.9. .9, you can have a trolling motor for all I care. You can fish tons of water just using a trolling motor. I did it when I was a kid and it is doable. So I actually have the boat that I grew up in as a kid in the back uh, of the shop. 
So, uh, where am I at? What we're putting on the front to make this the ultimate crappie machine is the Garmin Live Scope. So, right here, brand new. I found it on Facebook, still in the box, brand new. It was actually from a dealer, um, but I got it for $1,000, and that is for the black, this is what they call the black box. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but this is something you have to have to run it. So the Garmin black box and the down and front imaging uh, live scope transducer cables, black box, got some stuff to cut holes. Um, and then I got 12 feet of extra wire um, because the troll motor wire is not long enough run to the battery and then there may be some other stuff that I got to do Hayden is gonna help me out with a lot of this stuff too but I'm trying to get it done today by myself got a fuse so I don't blow anything up and then just mounting brackets and this is the oh, that goes to the black box there's another thing I'm missing here what am I missing um there's another wire the it's the actual power wire that i'm running from the graph to the um to the battery and i don't know where that is it's somewhere around here but so how I'm, you're probably asking what am i putting up there to run the uh live scope so i got here in my truck so bright out today I don't know where I put it. So I went to a local store, tried to order it off of Amazon, and I ordered it from like four different places, and it all canceled on me for some reason. So I have a 106 SV Garmin on the Haney right up there. So. I was like, why would I spend another two or three grand on a graph when I only use this boat for really the spring? Now I'm gonna be using it for the winter since I have live scope. So I figured I'll just buy another cradle for that graph. When I take this boat out, I'll put it on the John boat. We need to come up with a name for this boat too. Um, and then whenever I go to the coast, I'll just obviously keep it on the big boat until I need it for the John boat. So. Oh, here it is. That's the other cable I was looking for. That's the power cable. And then this is the cradle that will stay in the boat. And then all you have to do is move the graph back and forth from this cradle or that cradle. So kind of a win-win. Don't have to buy all these graphs or anything. All I had to do is buy the live scope itself. The black box comes with that. It's a bundle deal. And then the cradle. So... I'm gonna put y'all on a time lapse because I'm sure y'all don't want to hear me talk anymore. If you're still watching this video, I appreciate you guys. I really, really, really tried to get you guys another crappie episode today. And actually, I've been trying for like four days and I can't seem to find the crappie. Um, I stopped going to the bank places uh, that I've been catching them at because there's like 20, 30 people there now every time I go. And I don't want to upset anybody I know um, a lot of people recognize the places that I go from the bank. So I want to try to get this thing going. Back to that, people were pretty annoyed uh, that a lot of people showed up after that video. Um, anyway, so I want to get this boat going uh, to where I can go still fish that same exact river. But you're not going to know exactly where I'm at unless you are out there all the time. So... Uh, but I want to give you all situational stuff that you can go out and recreate exactly what I'm doing. So I want to do a lot more in-depth explaining videos of how we're catching them, what we're looking for, and temperatures and all that good stuff. Pressure, all that. So, because I myself have been on YouTube uh, every day. Angel's probably getting annoyed with me because every night we'll get in bed. I get on YouTube and I watch how to catch crappie in the winter, how to locate crappie in the winter, how to uh, catch spawning crappie and all that stuff. I'm, I'm real deep into it right now, if y'all can't tell. So um, I'm gonna put y'all a little time lapse together of me working on the boat today. Hopefully I can get it done 
in the next couple hours and then uh, show you what it looks like after I get it cleaned up and get all this stuff on there. How many of y'all saw that coming? I saw it coming. I'm gonna skip the cleaning part of the boat because I want to get you guys this video. But uh, that's the next step is to clean it, get the gas tank put in it. But I got everything ran. All I gotta do is run this wire through the hole. I gotta tape this wire all up and then run it through the hole and plug it in. And I'm also gonna move the live scope up. I sent Hayden a picture and he said to scoot it up a couple inches. So in that, that fall, I gotta order a new prop. That thing would have broke anyway. It looks so dry rotted. But got the graph on. I think it's in a good spot. I haven't bolted this down because I want to go out and fish with it. I may just leave it uh, unbolted all the time because I may want to get it out of the way. But I want to see exactly where I want to position everything before I uh, bolt everything down. But essentially, the trolling motor will be deployed and I'll be able to stand right here and run the trolling motor. And then I can loosen this guy up ah, this way and have it like that. So that way I can be right here and see my graph. Trolling motor will be right there in the water, obviously. So I don't know. I may end up moving the graph up here somewhere. I may end up taking that light bar out and putting the graph right there. I'm just not going to run the boat with it up there, but that's the cool thing about that Garmin Cradle is it's a super quick disconnect, so uh, got a little more work to do, but for the most part, we got everything we wanted to get done. Uh, I'm going to take this bad boy out, do something with it. Maybe we'll do a giveaway with the Leverantz. Y'all leave in the comments if y'all want me to do a giveaway with that thing, but hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry again. It's not what I intended this video to be, but... Uh, it's one step closer to catching crappie. So if y'all enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. Uh, if you want to support the channel and my family, you can go to moltman.net. Tats hoodies, spices, and moltman bait co baits. Until next time, hopefully we're catching crappie. I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.